Take her to the doctor in case we have to operate on her. Okay? Okay, me too. Be fast about it. Please. Please, madam. I can see the head of the baby. Eh? Push! No, I can't. Now, push! Uh, uh, Congratulations, Her Majesty. Thank you. You just delivered a pouncing, beautiful baby girl. Oh. What? A baby girl? No, baby, no, not again. Oh, not again. Oh, my God, no, not again. <laughs> Your baby is as beautiful as you are. Oh God, please, please stop saying that. Please, please, oh God. Oh, you won't understand. Why do I face my husband? How do I face my husband? Oh God. Your Majesty, I don't understand. A child is a gift to the every family. Your husband will be very happy when he sees her. Huh? Happy about what? What is in this chair that will make him happy? Stop saying it! Stop saying it! You don't understand! Your Majesty, your husband will be happy. You are putting me in the dark. You don't understand! You don't understand! Then make me understand. Oh God. Oh God, why? Metron, please. I've given birth to three girls already. I can't take this girl. I can't. Oh God, I can't take this girl home. Oh, God. <laughs> Position for you. A friend of mine who is very wealthy but needs help. She was delivered of a baby girl. What do you want me to do? You know, through my help, the hospital attended to you without collecting any initial money. She will foot your outstanding bills and equally take care of your entire welfare. In exchange of your baby for hers, she has promised to give you 300,000 naira. Not only that, she will take care of you when you're a baby and even send you to the university. Okay. 
think of the life ahead. My dear, this is a very big opportunity, a very good chance, so don't let it slip by. Think about the future. Think of all the things you'll gain from her. A better life in the future. You are still very young. And the future is very bright. Remember our agreement, 500,000 Naira, and taking care of mother and baby. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'll keep to that, okay? I'll pay. I'll pay. It's Thank okay. you. Thank you. It's okay. You've saved the life. Thank you. Okay. I'll fulfill it, okay? It's okay. Thank you for saving the life. Thank you. It's fine. She just delivered now. What did she deliver? The male or female? I don't know who has been away for too long. I hope all is all right. Ime! Ime! Guru! Ime! Guru! Oh, wait, wait, I'm not Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. I can not say blue one, eh? Let's give them. Two of them are can egg. Can I even make give? Eh? Can any be named Mary? About my cuggy. You waste the time on us here. Get it all. You must go be ready, eh, ma'am? Eh? Hello, Jack. What am I doing?
I'll be successful to my kingdom. Okay. Then I ring for drummers. saying to myself, how can I go to my forefathers without an heir? And we even married. They could have never known me. Why? And I kept telling the Almighty, I was born by my mother, and my father was responsible for it. Why can't I father a son? Why? Eh? A bank came to an ogre, a Bible, a crown ogre, a bite of crown ogre, a woman happy land. I kept trying until finally God heard my prayer. Hey, hey, hey! When we last need to go travel blues, dear John, I can't even name you. I know never you go. I never see you go up until morning. Eh? I can't even believe you have no knowledge. Can I report you at the court? Or I can't even see you. I'm not. I'm not going to watch you. I'm 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 going to watch you. You know, Igwe. My father was a warrior. Yes. You know his history. This is why he was called Obuni. Obuni Igwe. Obuni Igwe. Obuni Igwe. Because the moment he goes out, he comes back Obuni. with heads. And I said, if I answer my father's name, I will spend all the time going to war and killing people and bringing back heads. So I said I will not answer Obuni. Now I look at my son and I see the face of my father and I say to God, should I give this boy my father's name? I said, no. Let me show appreciation to God for sending me a son. So I decided to name him Chukwu Emeka. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> But I'm coming with you. Eh, eh, eh. Even when you go to see, see how you now go and you can now go now be. But when we turn on the gap, we're back. Go, I see. Look at them, look at them. When you, when you, when you, when you take on that, not to now. Listen. Go and tell them to kill that ram. Tell them to kill that ram. Go away. So I want everyone 
to spell the name Jesus. So at the end of that mighty name, you cut the cake. Okay, so let's all start with J E S U S. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Happy birthday to them. I am ten years to them. I am ten years to them. I am ten years to them. Oh, many more years to you. Many more years to you, many more years to you, many more years to you. Adugo. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. Welcome. How are you? Mama, I'm tired though. I'm tired. Did you not fish any palm kernel? No, I couldn't find any because it's raining. Oh, my daughter. I'm sorry. Oh? Mama, I'm hungry now. I know. That is why I was waiting for you so that we could eat together. Okay. Oh? Yeah, let's go in. Oh? If your mother tells you to do anything, hmm? do it. Don't ask questions. Hmm? Yes, Daddy. Good. If your teacher says, I want all of you to do this in class, do it exactly as your teacher said he wants you people to do it. Hmm? Yes, Daddy. Good. If anybody does something wrong in class, don't hesitate to tell the teacher so he doesn't think you are part of it. Hmm? Yes, Dad. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Mommy said Emeka should come and eat. All right. Tell your mommy Emeka is coming. Hmm? Thank you, Father. Good. Go and join your sisters and eat. Hmm? Yes, Dad. Good. Have you guys finally decided we have to spend the next holidays? Mm -mm. Not really, but um, Mom, I think Havana will be okay. What do you think? Mom, let's go to New Land. Mm. Mom, what about London? Yeah. Oh, Paris! Paris! Mom, do you know I could give anything to work on those um, fashion mall? Oh, I can't imagine. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Disneyland to see Ben 10 and do my job. Bam. Ben 10? Yes. No! No, hey, all of us are going to see Ben 10. No! Wait till I see it! Shut up! Come on, shut up! Everybody is going to see Ben 10. The priest has spoken, you know, yeah? Mommy, every time, priest. What are we? Daughters. Now, we are going to see Ben 10. Jazzy. Oh. I'm going to, to see Tom and Jay. 
You push your eat so you add more, more little flesh. You have to see Benten. Look at me. After all the promises made to me, now gone down the drain. How time flies. How could I have been tricked into giving up my own baby boy? I wonder if he's been taken care of properly. Just look at us. If I sit back, things might just go worst. God, she's so innocent. Maybe I should abandon her and take care of my own life. Good afternoon, Mars. Oh, good afternoon, madam. How can we help you? Um, I'm looking for Matron. Matron? Yes. What's her name? Matron Elizabeth. Oh, she no longer works here. Uh, uh, but, are you sure? Yes. She left like two years ago. Do you have her phone number or any forwarding address which I can use in reaching her? No, I don't. Madam, are you okay? Yeah, yes. Are you sure? But... She has no body, she has no body. She has no power to make us strong. True love can bring pain and suffering to a poor girl from nowhere. She has no body. No body. She has no money. No money. She has no power. Mama, you left early today and I'm hungry. Do I look like a pot that stores food for you? Can't you see there is no food in this house? Every time you keep asking me your food, 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 food. Am I going to kill myself for you? No, Mama. But... No, Mama, what? Will you leave this place and allow me to rest? Mama, I, I, I... Keep quiet! I said leave this place! Leave this place! Mama, I... Don't mama me! Leave!
What are you still doing outside? Mama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hating you and saying all those words I said to you. But why, Mama? My daughter, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please let's go in and sleep. It's late. Okay? Come here. With you, and come at your chink up, waggy, chig, waggy, or give it to me. Give it to me. Why, why are you beating him? M me? Let me go. I don't know. Let me go. I beat you. Yes. <laughs> if you beat him, why is he crying? No, you're nice guy. Come and show me the boss, sister. But go inside the house. Don't beat him. You want to kill this person for me in this house? Oh, see now, see, you just want to kill this boy for me in this house. Ndiala. Sorry, huh? Where did she hit you? Hi. Of work age at chairs. Hi. Ndo. Is he penning you? Hi. Can I get a gun? You want to get a man or canola? Hi. Then you say good evening. Ah, Mukechi. Yeah. Is this you? Sit down, sit down. You wake up. Just me. You just came when I have finished it. <laughs> no problem, Dave. So where have you been all this while? Ah, uh -uh. Dave, I've been very busy lately. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dave, <sighs> I'm so sorry for coming by this time of the night. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, Kichi. Eh, eh, Dave, what of Odinaka? Odinaka now lives in Lagos. Yes, I know. And that is why I came. He did not even come for the last Christmas. But he called to know how we are fed. Ah, that, oh, that's nice. Eh, I'll be traveling to Lagos. You know, Lagos is a very big city. You don't need to say that. And, you know, I don't know anybody there, and I've never been there, too. So I came to collect Odinaka's address. You know, I've not been to Lagos before. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have his address and his number. Thank Let you. me get it for you. Go to school, eh? Make sure you respect your teacher, okay? Yeah. Be a good boy. Mm. Mommy loves you. Hmm? Open, open, open. Don't speed up. Don't even go to 15. Drive only on 10. Mm -hmm. If you see any girl of my dear. Don't speed. No problem. <laughs> it's a bad one. No, go straight. All right, um, I will drop him and come back. Come back and visit again. I will go pick him back. Up. No, pick again. Don't pack this car there. Why should he come back? And that place you pack the car, stay there. Put the ring there for bread. Watch him. If he needs go, go. You can buy it and give him. Go what? Buy and give him and wait. Once they close, carry him and come back. Even when you're coming back, don't speed. Don't speed. Yes. That's the air current we're showing people. Go is there, no, no. All right, tomorrow. All right. Come on. 
He went into our room and turned it upside down. Mom is a complete mess. Mom is not with their life. Oh, no, Raya. Mom is not with It's not him. Who else? Who would have done it? Who would have done it? Who would have done it? This is my son. You mean the air apparatus you throw should come and arrange your room? Who knows who Why? Are you mad? Mommy, this thing is not fair. Oh. This thing is not fair. fair. Oh, you see that? Who will raise more size to see that she's back? Or they can have the camera? 
Aparam, Prince, Prince, one day, mom. What are you doing here? Mm, sorry, Ma. I slept here last night. You mean you slept here alone? Hey, go out to Kwagi. I'm very sorry, Ma. That was what happened. Mm -hmm. So I brought her home to be helping in the village. Now you're getting old. She'll be helping you gain family chores. Fetching of water, sweeping the compound. Hmm? Mom. No. Onye Kwanikeo. What is your name? My name is Adugo. Adugo. Where? No. Ada. See her as your mother. Me. As your elder sister. Hmm? You'll be fine with her here in the village. No, I'm going to go Hello there. How are you? Oh, everyone is fine. Your sisters, your father, they are all doing good. How are you? Really? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. When are you coming back? <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> See, I want you to come back home. Hey, you're a medical doctor already now. <laughs> I know. Uh, so give me the date. The exact date where you're coming in. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I hope you're good, eh? Bye bye. No, no, no. We are fine. Oh, bye. Oh, mommy, I wanted to speak with him now. Don't you have his number? Call him with your own phone now. Mommy, mommy, what did he say? Your brother said he'll be coming home very soon. So get ready to meet your brother soon. And don't ask me the date. Call him with your phone and get the information. <laughs>
Sugar. What are you saying? You want sugar? Yes. At your age? Have you forgotten what the doctor said? That you should reduce the way you eat sugar. You don't have money. Please don't even mention sugar again. Ah, uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, Mama. Sorry, oh, Mama. Sorry, oh, Oh, Odo. Oh, oh, thank you. It's alright. It's alright. Nene, come and join us now. Join again. In this sugarless pub. Nene. I don't have water. Don't join. I'm Don't mind my mother. She wants sugar. Don't don't you know you're old? I'm looking for sugar. Open your mouth. Today you will drink that today. You are looking for it now. No one should get it. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Majesty. Yeah, I think you're the one. Hey! Thank you, Your Highness. I'm going to have a little bit of it. Cynthia? Uh-huh. Hey, 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 Take them in and find them something. Mm -hmm. They have to be very well entertained. <laughs> Let me talk with you, Sika. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Get me a glass. Come on. <laughs> hey. 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 to the traditional council meeting and um, well, for very obvious reasons, you know, but I really wish I were there, honestly. Your Majesty, 
You are not the only one missing in action. Oh, you are not the... Matter? Yes, I was not. I had some pressing issues in my kingdom. That makes two of us. You know, there are two people from my community who happen to be members of the National Assembly. I don't know what their problem is, but they appear to be a dagger's drone. I want to create some time and look into their case. But that's for some other time. Isika, your daughter has grown into a ravishing beauty. <laughs> you know, I was looking at Cynthia. I said, is this Cynthia? That is Cynthia. Ah, look, look. Man to man, your daughter will make a very beautiful wife for myself. Ah. <laughs> the that sounds very nice. Honestly. We have been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Anyway, you will be surprised mm. how many suitors that have come knocking at my door asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. I will not be surprised. The bunny is never man of manaanyas. I do feel good. I mean, if I were still a young man, I would want to marry her. <laughs> this is why I said, this one will not miss my son. No. Hmm? Um, if you want to know how serious I am, wait. In the next couple of days, I'll be coming to your place with my people. That fast? Can, can it be a <laughs> We'll be waiting for you. We will be waiting for you. We'll waiting for you. <laughs> what are friends for? Thank you, my dear. My son, the air the Oh, it's been long I saw him last. I know he must have been a very big boy by now. You know how children grow. <laughs> um, how are your boys? Oh, they're fine. They would have been with us in this visit. <sighs> yeah, they would have been with us in this visit. But you know boys now. <laughs> they all retire to their chambers. Well, boys will always be boys. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that you are here. You're yes. welcome. Thank you so much. We have a drink. Ah, oh, thank you. So let's go to the betterment of our families. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you have a massive palace. Kudos to my father, the king. He loves his space. Oh, come on. Look, all men love spaces. <laughs> so, tell me, how about your sister? She went to California with her husband after the wedding. On a honeymoon? <laughs> honeymoon is every day. <laughs> anyway, they best You're there. right. <laughs> You're right. So, what about you? What are you doing now for a living? Well, I was made one of the directors in my father's company. Wow. That's so chic. Oh, come on. So lucky. Look, I rather say hectic. <laughs> hey, are we not missing out the happenings at the city room? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for showing me around. You're welcome, my dear. <laughs> I really enjoy your company. I enjoy yours too. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. You know. Last time I was driving past your community, I saw a couple of white men oh. milling around in, a, in an open field, and I was wondering what was going on. I forgot to tell you, hmm. they discovered oil in my kingdom. What? <laughs> yes. They discovered oil? Yes. In your kingdom? Absolutely. What about the company? This is kind of oil. I didn't know. You found oil? Oil, yes. That's why you saw the white men. In other words, before long, oil exploration will begin there. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Remember, when the money starts rolling in, the petrodollars. <laughs> uh, we have been friends for long, eh? 
How can I forget my old friend? <laughs> I cannot forget you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes. Food is ready. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But Nne, I'm trying my best though. You know I went to the stream. I also fetch firewood. I'm the only one doing all this work. No one is helping me. Oh? Okay, okay. Be fast. So that you can cook. Oh? I will. Hey, I forgot to buy that okoroko. Hey. Hey, Okay. Don't worry. We can eat the soup without the okoroko. We can't eat it like that. I know you love okoroko a lot. I will go to the market and buy the okoroko once I'm done. I'm almost through. Oh? And today, that my little princess is about to be married to the son of King Ezekwem to become the future queen of Okwari Kingdom. Hey, may the gods be praised. He said, Your Majesty. Yes, my princess. Can I now return to my chamber? With every pleasure, <laughs> my future <laughs> queen. I now want to talk. See that. I'm a sir. <laughs> Do you know that King Ezekiel and I go way back? Now I see what friendship can bring. We attended the same primary school, the same secondary school, and even attended the same university. But I used to be the one on top of the class. Seriously? I used to be number one. Do not cry, my dear. We want the best for you. For the facts that I don't know this man makes it more painful. You people don't care about how I feel. You don't. Sweetheart, of course we do. We care so much about you. That's why the choice of the prince is a wise one. He has a very sound background, good upbringing, and their kingdom is just a central. My dear, that's why your father bought the idea of our families coming together through marriage. This is not fair. This is not fair, mom. What about Dennis? He was the first to declare his intentions with his kinsmen. What about him? My dear, <laughs> this is the best for you, my child. Okay? Now, cheer up. Wipe those tears. Very soon, food will be ready. And I wouldn't like your daddy to see your face like this. Come on. It's okay. Try to understand me, please. Understand what, Cynthia? What do you want me to understand? That I am not royalty, right? No, no, Dennis, no. Um, you, you know tradition with parents and all they represent. That is nonsense. Hmm? Listen, Cynthia, I can take good care of you. Huh? I know. 
I know. Then what is the problem? Look, I know you love me. And I know you can take good care of me. But if truly you love me, you have to let me go. Tired. Uh -uh. Mama, don't worry, oh. I'm fine. This is the best time for me to weed this farm. The sun is not yet out, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adam, Mama, when did you speak with your elder sister? Okay, that was three days ago. Yes, Mama. When did she say she's coming? Mama, next month. Hey. Next month is too far. Huh? When she promised me that she will be bringing my medicine very soon. Ah, Mama, you worry yourself too much. Today is already 28. In three days' time, we'll get to next month, and she will be here. Oh, it's always no way. She will come. Ada, Mama, flies are more here. Flies are too much here. Don't worry. Let me come and take you inside. You need to even go inside and allow me to do this work very well. Uja. I don't want to move. Come on. Let me come. My people, it is with profound joy that I invited you to my palace today. The gift before you is to show appreciation for all your support as the reign of King of Umo, the Kingdom. You all have shown me unprecedented loyalty and love. And this is to say thank you. Wow, <laughs> Maka. This is for you. I get it. I get it. Why? Come on, Karen. Your Majesty, I suggest you discuss with these people of Alba so that we can have a peaceful resolution on this issue. Your Majesty. The people of Haba have shown disrespect to our community by going as far as destroying crops in our farms. This is really a challenge to us. Something has to be done immediately, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I agree with the chairman. The people of Haba have stepped on our toes and something must be done.
your majesty. I agree with Ichie Nambi and Ichie Zugo. This encroachment by the people of Abba into our land is a direct attack or challenge to our kingdom. Something drastic has to be done to stop that encroachment. Thank you. I have listened to all of you and I thank you for your advice. The vice my brother will embarrass you. Where's your uncle? Oh, 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 you will summon all our able bodied youths. Let them surround that farmland. If anybody from Abba approaches within 10 meters of that land, he should be apprehended and brought here for instant justice. Thank you, Father. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Once more, you're welcome back. Okay, you're welcome back. Um, 
I must add that you are looking remarkably well. Thank you, Father. Thanks for the compliment. <sighs> well, mm, I was your son before I became a medical doctor. Mm. Once your son, always prepare you. Am I right? <laughs> I must make an observation. You and Father look so good. Very, very healthy. And you too. Hmm? <laughs> that reminds me. What about my other sisters? Uh, Choma and Chinelu. Ah. <sighs> you spend most of your time in your mother's company. I thought she would have told you. Um, Chioma and her husband are in America. Chinelu and her husband are in Germany. They communicate me most of the time, and I am glad to report that they are doing very, very well. Um, you show a lot of promise, so I know that you two will do remarkably well when you settle down. First of all, let me say that um, I am happy that you're a medical doctor. What it simply means is that if any ailment bothers me today, instead of bothering about how to go abroad for treatment, I'll simply subject my entire body to you for examination and treatment. <laughs> and that will save us a lot of money, so I'm very, very happy about that. Number two, you know something, son? I am proud of you that you spent all the time overseas without coming back with a white woman. I mean, that would have been an affliction. So, because you are going to take over from me as the king of this community, I have decided to prepare you for it. You can't be a king as a bachelor, no. You must be married. Um, I have a friend called King Isika who has a very, very attractive daughter, very engaging. I have arranged for her to be your wife, so that uh, that relationship will cement permanently the contact I have with that family. You will like her when you see her, she's an attractive girl, very attractive, I must tell you, and uh, you will congratulate me for my choice when you see her. Um, thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will like her, she has very fine curves. <laughs> no, I mean, it is totally unacceptable. I mean, who does that? How can father be the one to choose who I'm supposed to get married to at this jet age? Emeka, my brother, there is nothing you're going to do about it. You know we are royalty. Do you believe that? Dad also chose my own husband for me. Really? He did. And I had no option than to marry the man. <laughs> mm, my dear. I just want to let you know that I'll be going home to see my family. You know, I left my husband and kids for, for a long time now. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, dear. My regards to your husband. Hmm? I'll tell them. Thank it's you, dear. Chikwemeka, you don't have to get yourself worked up like this. Hmm? Son, you are the heir apparent to the throne. Okay? It's worthy of you to take the one betrothed to you by your father. Oh? Mother. That is preposterous. In this era, who does that? Mother, am I still a kid? No, Chikwemeka. Calm down. Calm down, son. 
you know very well that your father and I can never deceive you. We made the right choice for you. That girl is the best. And I know very well that she will make a beautiful queen. Please, son, calm down. Okay? This is so sad. Um, once again, welcome man in love. I am indeed happy for the right step we have taken in bringing our kingdoms together by the marriage of our children. Um, please permit me to make some introductions. On my right is my Ono. Check, 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 check. Umi that way. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well. Uh... Oh, what are you going? Yeah. Going? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Then seated next to him is Ichi Okafo. Umu, that's going? Yeah. 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 No, no. Mm. And then right next to Okafo is Madam Ketchi Bulubulu. Representing Omoada. Then seated next to my left is my amiable queen, the queen of the kingdom. And then seated next to her is my younger sister, a practicing metro, mm. Elizabeth. Divine, they won't live long. Your Majesty, there is an adage in Ibolan that says a discussion. Agreed to must be practicalized. That is what we have come to keep today. That, that's why we are here. of wine and show us who is your husband.
Uh, I'm on my way to the palace. I want to go drop this. Ah, bring it. Let me drop it for you. Yeah? Where are you going to? Mm, I was actually going to Mazoka for South. King yeah. sent me to you. Oh, that's yeah? nice. Okay. Adada, mm? do you know that you're the most beautiful girl in this village? <laughs> hey, me, yes. Ada? Yes. The most beautiful? Onye fine. Yeah? I'm serious. <laughs> Please. Thank you very much for the compliment, but I have to go, eh? Thank you. One. Bye bye. Bye. My prince, my prince. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, my prince. Good. Is his royal highness in the palace? Yes, yes, my prince. Um you, you, where are you going to? King sent me to Mazoka for South. Oh, I see. Who is she? My prince, don't you know her? Her, her name is Adugo. She's from this village. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know where she stays? Yes. She stays just down there. Okay. Meet me at the palace later. Okay, my prince. How on earth did she suffer? Hi. And now my secret is out. Out of the closet. I thought as much that that face, that face was too familiar. Oh God. Now that I have found happiness in my home. Oh God. I took time to stay away from anything that is concerned with my past. Yet, yet it has crawled to the open. This is Nurse Elizabeth. Oh, Metron. Yes? I got your number from my niece. Your prospective doctor in law. We need to talk right away. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Tell me where you want us to meet. Meet me at number 12 Allen Avenue. Where are you going? I'm going to the salon to get something I forgot there, okay? I'll be back soon. Oh, I see. Well, I am less busy. Maybe I'll go with you. <laughs> no, no. See, you have to rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy, okay? Wish your mother luck. <sighs> Good luck. Take care of yourself. Don't drink much. I'll be back soon, okay? Oh, that's a glass. That's a glass. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Thank you. What is this meeting all about? Are you not happy to see me? You disappointed me. It's 
Name your price, Metro. What money are you talking about here? Do you think I came for your money? You broke your promise. You disappeared into thin air. You've indeed aged since the introduction of your son and my niece. Uh, he's a boy, right? Uh, so grown. It's not my fault that I disappointed you. But let's not go into that now. I want my secret sealed. It's quite obvious. You are now satisfied. You are now fulfilled. But I have a question for you. What if for a minute I let the cats out of the park? What will happen? Let's not go into that. I am happy that my niece is benefiting from my charity. How is Nkechi and her daughter? The last time I heard, they were both involved in an accident. And both of them died. That was the reason I didn't bother to check on you. But fate has its way of bringing us back together. This time around, Lord Lugu, Your Majesty, you have to make it up to me, my in-law. Don't forget that, my in-law. This is how far we can go. As you can see, this place is no, is no more tolerable. But that is their house over there. Thank you. But uh, are you sure people live in that house? Yes. You're sure? Yes. But, but Prince, I have to return to the palace before my king will start looking for me. It's okay. I can go. Thank you. For anybody? Yes, I am. Who? Oh. I have come to see you. <laughs> Me? Yes. Hey. I I hope there's no problem. My name is Prince Emeka is a queen from Quarry Kingdom. Ah. Yes. Oh, let me get seats for you. Oh, 
am nervous. Tell me, why have you come to see me? Oh, you don't have to be nervous, okay? Actually, I saw you earlier today at the front of King Isika's palace. Oh. Yes, and I... I liked you the moment I saw you. <laughs> Sorry I have to come this way. You like me? Yes. And I want us to be friends. Friends? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. I heard voices. Who are you talking with? Mama, he's a visitor from the neighboring kingdom. Mm -hmm. Prince of Okwari. Uh, uh, Mom, no. Uh. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Ada, my grandmother. Oh. Ada. I hope all is well. Uh, all is well, ma'am. Ada, have you offered him cola? Oh, she did that already, Mama. Mm -hmm. But I'm just fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe when next I visit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ada. I hope you can find your um, own. I, I can. Um, please, my, my grandmother wanted me to cook for her. I wanted to do that before you arrived. Okay, no, no, pro no problem. Then I should be on my way. Thanks for your hospitality. I've been operating that phone for past hour. And I've been here watching. What is going on? My prince, why are you so worked up? And why are you such a drama queen? Look, I, I don't know what I've done. To deserve this cold shoulder, you are called me. I am not in the mood. And what is that supposed to mean? For your information, I am your wife. Says who? I'm asking you. Says who, Princess Cynthia, whatever you call yourself. Now you listen to me. Are you that daft, backward, naive, and stupid as to allow yourself to be hoodwinked to a man who doesn't have an eye out of feelings for you? Are you? What do you mean by that? I deserve to be left alone. What is going on here? What are you around? Um, all that sound, what's going on here? Your Majesty. Yes. Your son do not love me. Come on, my dear. Don't say a thing like that. Okay? Love is being developed. And both of you are still very young for you to jump into such conclusion. See? As you continue to stay together, you begin to develop love for each other. You will desire each other. Sweetie, be a little bit patient with this, okay? Your Majesty, I have done all I can to make him love me, but he keeps pushing me away. I understand. My dear, all you need right now is hope. Hope, my dear, is an open window. Hmm? Just calm down. No, Your Majesty. I will not wallow in heartbreak. If this continues, I have no other choice than to return to my father's house. Chukwemeka, sit down. I would rather stand, mother. Okay, you want to stand? Chukwemeka, tell me why you don't want to accept this beautiful offer that your loving father made for you. If my father loves me, 
He will respect my feelings. Oh, what stupid feelings? This is a decade friendship that has existed between your father and the king of Omona. So marrying this girl will further strengthen the friendship. Can't you see it? I can't be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, what stupid sacrificial lamb? What? Do you at all understand that you will incur the wrath of your father if you don't marry the daughter of this king of Omoda? He might even end up disowning you, get that straight! I prefer to be disowned than tag myself to love you. Oh, come on, shut up! Shut! Excuse me, mother. Shut up! No, oh my child, I could go. When did he? Oh, I got the one on my nigga. Mom, why will I have patience? Why will I have patience? And why do you want me to remain with a man who is not in love with me? All in the name of some old decayed friendship of our fathers. It's only a question of time. Have patience. Time. Mom, time. Mom, the world has moved on. The world is now a global world. And Prince Emeka does not look like someone who needs time. Hey. Mother Nopa, no lie. Ah, my wife. Elizabeth. My princess. Hello, 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 What do you mean? What I mean is that my niece means a lot to me. And that includes her emotions. But there's no cause for alarm. We all know how stubborn these children could be at times. My son will come around. I promise you that. Your Majesty. If you can recall vividly, I am the one that brought happiness into your life. And I can as well terminate it. You know that. I don't understand. You understand everything. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, Your Majesty. It's not a threat. It's a promise. And I mean every word. Every word I've just said. Good day, Your Majesty. Elizabeth! Welcome, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What about my friend? Yeah, he is fine. Ah, I see you're looking good. Your Majesty, he is very fine. Mm -hmm. I will be using some color, huh? Oh, thank you very much, Your Majesty. I'm almost on my way out to my mm. All right, since you don't want some color, not greet my friend for me. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Sorry, right, bye bye. Yeah, thank you. Uh, bye bye, my dear. Oh, bye bye. Mama, I wish your sight was good. We would have seen what the prince brought for us. They are all beautiful. Thank you so much, my prince. You're welcome. Thank and you. Thank you. this one is for Mama. Eh? Eh? In queen. Mama, touch it. Hey! Hey! All this for me? Hey! Prince, thank you. 
Please, my son, tell me how your parents and the people of Opari Kingdom tell me how they are doing. They are fine, Mama. Yes, they are doing pretty good. Thank you. Uh, hey, welcome once more. Welcome. You your way? Um, I should be on my way now. Uh, Mama, uh -huh. let me see him off. Okay, okay. Ada. Uh -huh. Okay. My please. Go well. Oh. Uh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Uh, uh, how this for me? Your Highness, please reconsider. Your Highness, we have always cultivated on that piece of land for generations. And as a matter of fact, it is our only means of livelihood. Please, Your Highness. I am aware that you have always cultivated on that piece of land, but that parcel of land you talk about belongs to my people. Yes, Your Highness. And that each time you get into that land to farm, you are trespassing. Yes, sir. yes, Your Highness. And that is why we have gone on our knees, pleading, but to tamper justice with mercy. Please, Your Highness. I have heard you. Thank you, Thank Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. I'll give it a thought. Hmm? Long live, Your Highness. It's all right. It's okay. Thank you very much. Um, Is it funny? Yes, sir. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um, Father, there is something I want to request of you. Go on. Let me hear it. It's about those people that came in the morning. Yes, I... I want to plead on their behalf that you grant their request. Mm. All right, I... I'll give it a thought. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I, I give it a thought. I'll, I'll be in my room. Majesty, your face, your face looks familiar. Ah, anyway, <laughs> you're welcome. Father, meet Adugo, the daughter of late Mazichima of Muda clan. Your Majesty. No, sit down. My daughter, sit down.
Well, I am glad to announce to you that I have decided to become my wife. What? You have chosen what? This, this thing? I have heard you, sir. Um, you can see her off now. Son, you will not marry her. No, you will not. Um, you are aware that I have arranged for you to marry Isika's daughter. You know that. As a king, when I give my word, I don't go back on it. I don't intend to this time, no. You will not. But, Father, she's the one I... I don't owe you any obligation to tell you why I have insisted you will not marry her. And don't push it. Go back to your room. Your Majesty. My Prince, please. I do not want to die. Go back to your parents. Do not say that, my love. Please. I will sort this out. But it's obvious your parents do not want me. They embarrassed me before you. You saw everything. I, I do go. You brought back light into my life. I love you with all my heart. But we can't stay together without our parents' approval. Your parents don't want me. Particularly your mother. She doesn't want me. It's okay. It's okay. I'll sort things out, okay? Believe me, I am going to work something out. I don't understand you not eating these days. Things will be alright. Okay? If I got the problem, I don't think so, Mom. Emeka has decided to disgrace me. The princess of Omoda. Apugo. The daughter of King Isika. I want you to come and eat. I don't want you to starve yourself to death. You know what I want? Please now, come and eat. problem with her and why is she crying my king your daughter has refused to eat for the past two days why praise Emeka who are 
are you? Madam, where is your daughter Adugo? Adugo is not here. Search the house, please. Doing here? You must come with us to the palace now. Why? What did I do? Did I tell you anything? Leave me now. What did I do? They are taking me away. They are taking me away now. Leave me alone. Why can't you leave my son alone? My son is married already. What don't you understand in it? What makes you think that your type can have any place in this house? You have no name, no class. You are a gutter extracted maggot from God knows where. Ah, anyway, I am a mother. Let me show you my kindness. Have this is a check of one million naira. You see, this check can do quite a lot of things for you. This check can change your world. If not um, for any other thing, it can help you take care of your your wretched poor mother. So, my dear have this. It will help you. With due respect, Ma, I don't need your money. Your son has been the one coming after me. Why don't you go ahead and tell him to stay away from me? Oh, come on, shut that trap. Shut up. My son come after you? No. Oh, you think that I don't know what uh, poor, wretched, desperate girls like you can do? You think I don't know? <laughs> I can imagine how you must have dreamt. Hmm? How you must have seen yourself become the next queen of this kingdom. That, my dear can never happen. Since you don't want to comply with what I just said. Dad! Dad! Your Majesty. Take this gutter extracted fool of my sight. Lock her up in the guard room until she comes back to her senses. What is it? My daughter is here. 
I came to collect my daughter. I came to collect my daughter. Woman, your daughter, daughter is not here. My daughter is here. My daughter is here. God? Yes, my queen. What is it? It's one woman and she's blind. She said her daughter is here. Bring them in. Okay, my queen. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Who are you, woman? Give me back my daughter. Boyamu Wam. Your guards came and took her away. Boyamu Wam. Boyamadu go Wam. Your daughter? Eh, yes. Unejiwa Wanya. I don't know what she's talking. Hey! They're with my daughter. I heard them clearly. They took her to the palace because of Prince Emeka. Enough, woman. You are indeed in the wrong palace. You should start heading to Aquari Kingdom. And one more thing. Tell your daughter to stay off Prince Emeka. My daughter! Give me my daughter! Give me back my daughter! Yes. Sure, I Please, please, I beg of you, please reconsider. She is innocent. I am to be blamed. I will let her go on one condition that you give me your word never to set your eyes on her again. But I am deeply in love with her. Why can't I be left alone to make my choice? You can't be left alone to make your choice because you are the heir to this kingdom and I happen to be your father. I determine whatever happens in the kingdom and I determine whatever choice you must make. So, you have to choose between two options. One, to remain as the heir to this kingdom by allowing her go or stick to her and risk being disowned by me. It's okay, Father. I gave you my word. I would never see her again. Good. That's a responsible son. You can go now. Thank you, Father. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Give me the paper. This is for your freedom. All you have to do is to sign it for me. I forgot. From where you came from, there's no way you will understand what I meant. See, in this paper is written that you must stay away from my son. You should not come near him. You should not think of my son. And if you see my son coming, don't even look. You are not allowed to dream about my son. Is that clear? Not only that, let it not be as if I'm a, a wicked queen. Um, this is um, a check leave. 
with this money it can change quite a lot for you you can use this money and change your house and uh, use it and get something that you can wear that will make you look a little bit like a normal human being and uh, also use it to take care of uh, your miserable wretched mother and you will still have change I will give you this after you might have signed this okay take it there let her sign um what i mean by sign is your signature did you hear what i said uh, what i mean is your signature put it down there i have an ink on her uh, let her let him do it fast good 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 very good uh -huh. now have this really? and now that you have signed this for me you must stay away from my son run when you see my son, run! Can I be all right? We should not be seen together. Why? I, I love you. I just signed a document to stay away from you for life. Else I'll die. And I am not ready to die. Leave me alone. Listen to you what? Your mother even went to the extent of giving me a check to completely stay away from you. Don't you understand? Your parents don't want me to be seen with you. Leave me. Yes! I am not up to your standard! Can I have the I left it there. I, I you please listen to me, okay? I am very sorry for everything I've made you pass through. It was all my fault. Of course! It's your fault! That is why you should leave me alone. Let me be! Please leave me! I am not in your class! Leave me! Your Highness, my Queen. Where did you get this? It was lying on the floor in the room, my Queen. Go. Your Highness. This is the very check we gave to that riffraff. She didn't go with it. It's all right. For as long as she knows why we gave her the check, that's what matters. Whether she went with it or she left it, her business. So don't let it bother you. She knows why we gave her the check. Hmm? Let's just see what happens. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Adugo, it is you that I want. Life makes no meaning without you. Please don't turn me down. Please. My prince. I am scared. I am afraid of what your parents might do to me. When I was locked up and dealt with, you were not there to save me. What if I had died? You would have still moved on with your life. But nothing happens to you. 
We should be thankful that nothing happens to you. Adigo, please, come, run away with me. Why are you saying the impossible? Considering the kind of family you came from, you know, you know it can't work. Adigo, you are my family. about my grandmother she'll be taken care of trust me Your Majesty, please have pity on a poor blind woman. I have come for my daughter, whom they told me that is in your custody. Your daughter's name must be Adugu. Yes. yes. Uh, uh. I have released your daughter, but. I am going to detain you because your daughter's release coincided with the disappearance of my son. So I will detain you until I find my son. Tell me the police. How has it been? I'm fine, I'm okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, how are you? I'm okay, I'm fine. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I actually came to see you. Oh, wait. Um, what can I offer you? Anything. Anything? Yes. Angela! Angela! Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, please come. Uh, get her something to drink. Okay. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I'm also happy to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you. You're, You're welcome. Well. Of course. I thank God. So, how is the entire thank you. Uh, the, the palace doing? Everybody's fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. That's good. Um. I'm here to see you because I want us to talk. Okay. I'm really sorry for what happened to us oh, the last no, time. No, 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 no. That was in the past now. You see, I've forgiven you long ago. Okay? So forget about it. Thank <laughs> God Thank we are here now. Yes. Mm? <laughs> You're yes. welcome. Okay? <laughs> you see, when you left, so many things changed. My life was shattered. But thank God you're here now. Uh, but there is something I must have to say. You see, um, this person here is my lovely wife. Oh yes. Hello. <laughs> Are you going? Are you going? What about the drink? Bye, darling. <sighs> Baby. Uh -huh. Is she the princess Cynthia you told me about? Oh, yes. She is the one. You see, but you don't have to worry yourself about it. Okay? Everything is alright. You know I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Fine. 
What could be making her look and feel so melancholic? Guards! Guards! Let me go and find out. What is going on? You barely noticed I and your daddy downstairs. Isn't it obvious? They've been cheated and dumped. All because I accepted you and dad's suggestion to marry a man who finally rejects me. You're talking in parables. Talk to me in a language I'll understand. Oh, I no longer make sense. I, I no longer make sense. I didn't say that. Well, I went to meet Dennis to see if we can rekindle the love we had before. But right now, Dennis, Dennis is finally married. And I, I am a loser. Mom, I, I am a, I, I, I am a loser. You can't be a loser. We love you so much. All we <laughs> Mommy's not going to be fine. It's okay, I'm my dear. You. Stop crying. Wipe those tears. Stop telling me. Stop telling me that. I'm surprised. <laughs> you came in on an hour. Oh, it's all right. All is now well, Your Majesty. Sit down. Thank you. So what is the problem? I want to understand what is happening between your son and my daughter. Honestly, I I don't I don't understand. What, no. what is it? What what is going on? My daughter made me to understand that the last time she visited here. She was humiliated by your son and that your son carried out that act from your instruction. <laughs> well, I certainly am amused and I'll tell you why. Why would I instruct my own son to humiliate his future wife? 
surprised at that. You know something, your highness? Matters that involve youngsters should be treated with some degree of caution, especially where their emotions are involved. These youngsters are not very predictable. So I would suggest you don't react with such concern to whatever it is your daughter must have said. But having said that, I give you my word, I will look into it. I mean, I'm hearing this for the very first time. Yeah. I look into it. Please do, Your Majesty. I promise you. Um, have some wine. Thank you very much. I'm a little bit in a hurry. I'll beg to take my leave. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you, sir. We'll see you again. Welcome home. Home? Mm -hmm. Whose home is this? It's mine. Yours? Don't mind me. I'm just pulling your legs. It is ours. Where you and I are going to be staying for now. Now. <laughs> You're not serious. When will you be able to secure this place? <laughs> Well, I asked a friend of mine to help me arrange everything. Yes. Hey. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah, do you like it? The house is very beautiful. Yeah, of course. As beautiful as you are. <laughs> Come, let me show you around. I need to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't worry. Wait till I show you the bathroom. The kitchen. <laughs> and of course the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, the bedroom. <laughs> Come on, baby. Mm. Ah, let's go. Thank you very much. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Is your boss in? No, sir. How do you mean no? I just spoke with him on the phone not quite long and he told me to come here. That's in his office. I believe you will be a crush, sir. You mean the bar cross? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Where are now? Ah, the pencil. Sit down, Mary. What is wrong with you? I mean, why are you playing games with me? I don't understand you anymore. Uh uh, games, what? I don't get it. Games, bro, sit down first, bro. I, no, I am not here to sit down, Jerry. I'm here to have my money. Please give me my money. You told me you transferred that money to my account yesterday, and up till now, no alert on my account. Why? Why are you playing with me? See, see, I made no sales yesterday. You made no sales yet, you are drinking beer. Drinking bottles of beer here. See. We are drinking on credit. Oh. Tell him. I don't want problem. Please give me my money. If you don't give me my money, I'm not leaving this place. Give me my money. Oh yeah, come and take it now. Let's see the worry yourself. Jerry, it's okay. It's huh? okay. It's okay. I've been not explain to you. You just been shout for me. What's wrong with you? Are you referring to? Of course, yes. Are you are you talking to me? Jerry, it's okay. Sit down. We can I Okay, Jerry. Out. I am not leaving this place. Ah, Prince, please, it's okay now. Oh, it's okay. You want to chance me? See, you cannot do more than Jaguar Agota, my friend. Uh -uh. What's wrong? Take your time, oh. Jerry, it's okay. Eh? Who's good? Okay. Eh? Who's good? Okay. Yeah, last time. Good. Let me tell you something. If I don't get my money from you before today runs out, you know me? I will so deal with you that any ear that hears it will vibrate and have blood coming out of it. Come on, my friend! Come out here! It's okay, Jerry. Jerry, it's okay. Please. You can't do nothing. It's okay. Let's sit down now. Get out of here. Jerry, it's okay. Sit down. No one can one more. Get I mean it, sir. Sit down. Let's drink. And let you walk. This guy. Let you walk. See this guy. Eh? You knock yourself because you are owing him. I can't say I don't make sense. I need a chance for me. Welcome. <laughs> Baby, listen. I do not like what you did. 
You knew you wouldn't come back and you didn't tell me. You should have given me a call. I'm sorry, baby. You see, the meeting was so hectic. It lasted all through the night. I forgive you. I <laughs> guess what? What, baby? The project is going to be the biggest in the world of Africa. Wow! Yes. That's obviously going to take a lot of money. Why you can say that again, baby? You can say that again, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run your back. What's it? So I'm not just showing that they want to see you. May I show? Officer. That's it. That's the man. Are you Prince Jamaica? Is it good? Yes. I'm Detective Kenneth Okori. You are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Jerry Osita. Uh, Cough him. Cough him. Officer, wait a minute. I don't get you. <sighs> we will defend that when you go to court. Move it. No, 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 no. Listen, my husband is not a murderer. He's not. Move it. What are you saying? Move. Listen, my husband is not like that. Move, move. <laughs> Officer, you still haven't told me why you arrested me. I've just read your lies before you. You didn't read any rights to me. I need a lawyer. Defend yourself. I will let you go. <sighs> okay. It's okay. What exactly do you want from me? Where were you last night? I was in a board meeting with my partners. It lasted till this morning. Can I have their names? Officer, what do you need their names for? I just told you I was in a meeting with them. Where do you work? I work in the city hospital. Why did you threaten Mr. Jerry? Because every evidence you have pointed you. Baby, I want you to calm down. Okay. Everything will be fine. I promise you. I am innocent. I know. Honey, you know I can't hurt a fly. I know. I only went there to persuade him to pay me my money. And then... And then what? I threatened him. Yes, I, I told him I was going to deal with him. Maybe you went so far. You shouldn't have done that. I guess someone must have taken advantage of what you said to him. It was just a coincidence. <sighs> um, 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 I, I have to call your father. Maybe he could pull a string. No, no, no. Honey, no. no. I don't want you to involve him in this. But why? I can't do this alone, honey, baby. Honey, 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 please promise me. Please. As I was saying, sir, we are investigating a murder case involving one of your staff, Prince Emeka Izekwem. I know about that. So, what do you want to know? It was recorded that this establishment had a board meeting on the 3rd of August. Can you give us any details concerning the meeting? Yes, I, I can't give you the details about our board meeting, but I know that Emeka was there in the meeting. He was there in the meeting, but we ended up at exactly 6 p.m. <laughs> Sir, please. Yeah, yeah. You mean this meeting did not last the next day? At exactly 6 p.m., everybody went home. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. Thanks for your time. Um, madam. Where is 
If you say he's King Gezi, I'm son. Why don't we just go and see him? It will smoothen the way to make everything easy. No, 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 barista. My husband doesn't want that. Hmm. If I may ask why. He has his reasons for that. I don't know, but I want to respect his decision. Please. <sighs> okay. Where is he right now? He's still at the police custody. Have they confessed yet? No, Your Majesty. Then you have not tortured them enough. I know that if you torture them properly, they will tell you where my son is. You haven't tortured them enough. We are doing our best, Your Majesty. Mm -mm, your best is not good enough. Look, let me tell you something. If my son were the son of a policeman, you would have found him out. I know that. We have very experienced policemen. If you want to know how effective our police force is, go and catch the son of a police commissioner and kidnap him. They will catch you in under 10 minutes. You will still get my son. Torture them properly. Torture them as if my son belonged to a policeman. <laughs> then I will know that you are doing your best for now. The best is not good enough. Have you heard me? Yes, Your Majesty. Go and torture them. Hmm? Okay, Your Majesty. Good. Um, tell the Queen to find them something for lunch. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh -huh. Welcome home, my queen. You certainly don't look too bright. How did it go? Any news? Your Highness, why are the police so quiet about this? Why can't they go around, comb around town, check everywhere, search everywhere, fish him out wherever he is? Why do they keep telling us that there's no information that's still on the matter, on the matter, on the matter? What matter, your highness? What matter? Um, no. It will not be proper to uh, say that the police is doing nothing, no. The police did not conspire for your son to disappear. No. Your son was pursuing his emotions and that led him into this vagrancy. So, um, he will come back. I mean, I married you properly. My son has every right to do the same. So don't worry, he'll come back. He will. <laughs> Your Highness. Hmm. Your Highness will come back when? I pray nothing happens to this boy. I pray nothing happens to my only son. Uh. I pray that I they should go out there and look for him, get him. If he's a woman or what, they should just go and get that boy for me. They should just come. Nothing will happen to you. Uh, my queen, I don't want you to be so upset. Hmm? Um, why don't you go and lie down and rest? You've had to sustain a lot of stress today. Go in and rest. Hmm? Later in the night, we'll talk about it. I'm the white rest. I'm the white rest. Come on, Highness. Come on. Go and rest. What is it? Go and rest. Oh, God. Oh, God. Madam, all I want from you is the truth. Where is the prince? Oh, my God. 
You don't want to talk? If you people want to kill me, kill me! What am I going I know you have killed my daughter Adungo. Oh, you people want to kill me. Kill me, just kill me. Madam, this did not answer my question. Where is the prince of Okwari Kingdom? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. If you people want to just kill me, just kill me. Just kill me, let me die. Can you just calm down? 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 All I want from you is the truth. You tell us where the prince is and we let you go. Uh, I'm telling you the truth. She, she's not really my sister. No, my mother's daughter. I brought her to take care of my mother. Oh, she's not even your sister? Yes. Where then did she go with the prince? I, I don't know. I came back to see my mother. She told me that Aduga has been taken to the palace. Madam, <laughs> by the time I am done telling you, you will beg for your life. Madam, I promise you, if your husband is innocent, I will let him go. But you must let justice prevail. Now tell me, from the morning of this event, 3rd of August, till the night, where was your husband? On that day, he left early in the morning without breakfast, came back a few hours later, took his bath again, and left for the office. He called me and told me that the board meeting would take long, that I shouldn't bother waiting for him. Are you, are you aware that your husband threatened the disease? Um, he, he told me about the argument, but you know, officer, you must know that some people say things out of anger, not like they mean it. Meaning? Meaning that my husband might have said that out of anger. He can't even execute such. Unfortunately, fate took its own toll on him. But the truth is that my husband is very fragile. He can't hurt a fly. Please. Well, madam, we are working on the facts. Every evidence points at your husband. But no worry. If you have anything that will help us carry our job well, don't fail to let me know. Hmm? Well, thanks for your time, eh? Have a nice day. That means you killed him. Officer, believe me. Everything I told you was the truth. Nothing but the truth. I was in a meeting. A meeting? Yes. But your chairman said the meeting was a short one. Everyone dispersed. Even your wife confirmed you did not sleep at home. Prince Ameka, where were you the night this crime was committed? I was with someone that day. Um, hello, doctor. I'm sorry for budging in on you like that. It's okay, but 
Please watch it next time, okay? I'm sorry, excuse me. Actually, my car broke down. I was wondering maybe if you could give me a lift to my house. It's, it's okay. Thank you, Doctor. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You live off the city. Yeah, I do. I mean, this is where I can afford. Hey, why don't you come in for a glass of wine before you go home? Now, I would have loved to, but my wife would be worried. Oh. Yes, I have to go. I insist, please. I mean, you've not been to my house before, please. Just oblige me, please. <sighs> Five minutes. Five minutes is cool with me. Oh my god, this is not just good. Come on, Mr. Lenny. What my wife is thinking? Oh, check that out. Officer, is it truth? But, um, Officer, I, I don't want my wife to know about it, please. It is not my business if you lie to your wife. All evidence points at you. You killed him. Nurse Jen? Yes? Do you know one Mr. Becker? Who happens to be your colleague? 
Do you mean Dr. Mecca? Oh, yes. Yes, I know him. He's a nice person. I was meant to understand that he spent a night in your house on 3rd of August. What? In my house? Excuse me. I don't understand. I I even heard that you guys have some good time together. Damn it, that man got nerves. Officer, for the fact he's a nice person doesn't mean he should go about cooking up stories about people. That man has never spent a night in my house. In fact, I don't even know him that much. So you're you're trying to tell me that nothing has such happened? Officer, like I said, I don't know him that much. Barrister, sir. Barrister, my husband. Please, I want you to do everything possible to secure his freedom. Please. Alright, uh, now, you know the drill. I'm your attorney from now on. You have to tell me everything. Hmm? How well do you know the victim? Okay, I... I knew quite all right. As a matter of fact, he was a close pal. Yeah, so someday he asked for the loan of a two million naira from me, which I gave to him. Then he promised he was going to pay me back. Unfortunately, the day he promised came by, but he didn't pay me the money. So, since that day, we kept coming up with different excuses. Alright, um, and it says here, the night, the night you were killed, you were not home. So, where were you now? He was at the board meeting. Baby, tell him everything. Tell him about the board meeting. Like she rightly said. I was in a board meeting. Yes. Yes. Um, you said I should tell you everything. Go ahead, be free. Okay. It, it didn't really go that way. Everybody at the meeting dispersed at about 6 p.m. Maybe. And? So, you know, it, it, it was late. It was very late at night. So, I decided to spend the night in my uh, colleague's house. So, which of your colleagues did you spend the night? And you never told me. Sorry, you say? What is the name of your colleague, the one you spend the night with? She? Her name is Jane. What? Honey? Oh, wait. Madam, please. Please, take it easy. Now, this is what we'll do. If we have to make a headway in this case, we have to bring this your colleague to testify. She must have to testify. Testify his innocence, please. How do you mean? I know my husband slept in your house. I know, even though you refused to tell the investigator. Hey, hold it. Sure, your husband can just wake up one morning and start cooking up stories about people. Listen up, your husband did not spend the night in my house. 
And I don't want people coming to my workplace to spread rumors about me. Please. You know that's not true. I'm a woman like you. Or would you rather see my husband sentenced for something he never did? Please. You threatened the man. I don't even think could have happened. No. Help me. Save a soul. Save my family. Testify, nurse, please. Nurse Jane? Dr. Ben wants to see you. Madam, as you can see, I have work to do. It's go. Yes, no. You cannot leave me like this now, please. I beg you, please help me. Please, please, please. Councils, declare your interest. Most of them, my lord. I'm interested in case number two. Call up case number two. Case number 7372. 2018 between the federal government and Priest Emeka Ezequem. My Lord, the Aquator, the prosecuting counsel. Most of them, my Lord. Sam and Aga standing for the accused person. You must also remember, my lord, the case is slated for hearing, and I wish to call on my witness for cross examination. Thank you. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm a Christian. Then place your hand on the Bible and say after me. I. I. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give to this honorable court. That the evidence I shall give to this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Could you please tell this honorable court your name? My name is Jane Olaga. Could you please tell us what happened on the eve of 3rd of August? That evening, we dispersed from our hospital board meeting and my car couldn't start. So when I saw Dr. Mecca enter his vehicle, I hurried up for a ride. Hurried off for a ride. Right to where? My home. So, when you got to your home, both of you, what happened after that? I invited him over for a glass of wine and we stayed all through the night. Silence! Thank you. My lord, you see, my client is innocent of the crime in question that at the time this crime was being committed my client spent the night with this witness objection my lord my learned colleague here is trying to lead this court astray objection sustained counsel yes, do you have any question for the witness yes my lord from all established facts on ground my lord my lord the accused who incidentally is a married man on that fateful night chose to take this young lady this pretty young lady home and not minding that his wife is waiting for him that night he must have been enjoying himself that very night while he sent somebody send his, his alibi to go and do that dirty job Appreciate objection you. my lord the prosecutor's counsel is still laying the court astray objection sustained no Silence! 
Silence! The cup resumes in one hour time. What is the meaning of that? Don't you know it could lead you to jail? How can everyone sit there and do nothing? When an innocent man is about to go down for what he knows nothing about. An innocent what are we man? talking? Yes. Most humbly, my lord, apologies for that earlier disruption. That is forgiven. But next time, the court will not take kindly to that. As the court pleases. pleases. My lord, permit me to present a witness who was not involved during investigations. His statements are not before this honorable court. Counsel, go on. Mr. Tochiko, please. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? I am a Christian. Then place your hand on the Bible and say after me. I, I do solemnly swear. To do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give to this honorable court. That the evidence I shall give to this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Uh, gentlemen. You cost quite a stir. Thank you. Can you tell this court your name? My name is Tochiku Jonas Osita. And what is the relationship between you and the late victim? He's my brother. All right. I would like you to tell this court exactly what transpired on the eve of the third day in August. On that night, I had a gun shot in my house. was how it happened. You killed my brother! You killed my brother, yes! Silence!
Honey, please forgive me. Please, what I did was intentional. The fact still remains that you you cheated on me. But you heard what she said. Wonderful case. You know, you have to be really careful. I'm sure. Thank you, Barista. Thank you. Thank you. My son disobeyed me, and uh, I'm sure he planned his disappearance with that girl. He did. How do you know that? I'm his father. My instincts tell me so. And my instincts never fail me. That alone is not enough, Your Majesty. Yes, sometimes our instincts aren't right. I agree with you. I'm his father. But he should obey me at all times. He should marry the person I have chosen for him. He should. Your Majesty, I think we were wrong, Abelisha. We should have asked for the opinion of our children. Um, Your Highness, there is something you seem to have forgotten. We are not ordinary people. No. We are kings. Royalty. Our word is law. We make these laws and they should be obeyed. They should have obeyed us. That's how we should be. Absolutely, Your Majesty. But we should have respected their feelings. I suggest you let those poor people go. Let them go. Why must I let them go? Why? Apart from the fact that they are from my clan, mm. You also know that they are innocent. Your son acted on his own. Besides, you're holding them back to boost your ego. As kings, we must consider the poor and the downtrodden.
My friend, are you stupid? Move that out of my way. Are you sure it was my son? Yes, Your Highness. In fact, I trailed him to Oware Izukala Street. But unfortunately, before I could turn, he had disappeared. Your Highness, I think we should send the guards to bring him back home. Uh, it's all right. Uh, we'll do our best to trace it. Hmm? Your son will return. Don't worry. We are doing all we can. He'll come back. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your efforts, sir. You welcome, Your Majesty. Uh, I'll make sure you are rewarded adequately. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty, this was where I lost the prince. Are you sure? Yes, Your Majesty. Um, in that case, uh, I think we should we should knock at that gate. I think so too, Your Majesty. Okay, then let's go. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Afternoon, thank you. Sorry, please. We are looking for one Prince Emeka. Prince Emeka. Prince Emeka? Yes. Sorry, ma. There is no one with that name here. Mm. Besides, this is a private residence. Oh. Oh, sorry. Forgive us, okay? It's okay. We are so sorry. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my dear. Um, please, we are looking for one, one Prince Emeka. Prince Emeka. Okay, he's inside. Sure. Inside? Yeah. <laughs> Could you please show us his apartment? Sure, come in. For my son, Prince Emeka, he looks like me. Oh, my mom, okay. Sorry, I'm the only one that bears that name in this compound. Man, I always know, dear. Hello, man. Hi. Hi. Sorry, excuse me. Good afternoon. Please, we are looking for one Prince Emeka. Prince Emeka? Yes. Oh, Naikaban be this. Hi, thank God. Thank you, please. Hi, let's go. Can we Can go see him? Sorry. sorry. Nothing at the fine prince. Prince Emeka? Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. I said I talk saying that they look for Prince John C, aka Babarati. Now they say you're not the Prince Emeka. Are you kidding me? Are you for real? I know that madam. Now you're gonna talk in spirit for me. 
I chop wish. I'm low man, baby, no. Oh, this chako jako. Madam, I low man to not stay here. But you just told us that he stays here. I'm not told. I said, yeah, no, be prison maker out. Let's go. I had to run now. I low man, baby, no. You too. See as you, madam, I beg. Next time, if you want to sell bead, they want to wear bead before they sell them. You go hold them. How best you go take price until you don't wear. What's your name? Uh, Any problem? I say no mind that uh, one, one woman with that uh, madam uh, madam Avu Pechiko. He just come with one other man. Tell me say that they look for for Prince Emeka. I say that woman. If you see the way she take dress, she be me as wish. I say she be correct man. If you see, it's just like all those people when they. Oh, the, where they big be for river? Bad beat, 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 full neck. Full, 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 full everywhere. To tell, tell me, say they find Prince Emeka. Me tell them, say me they ban, say Prince Emeka not there. Also, as I did not the verse. No, oh, really? Prince Emeka? Now, the mother be that. Ah, wait a minute. Did they tell you they are looking for Prince Emeka? Also, now, the real matter be that. I said they look for Prince Emeka. And as I see them, their face not that nice. So I tell them, say nobody be Prince Emeka for here. May they check the next suite. It's okay. Um, please return to your duty post, okay? Okay, Ose Mingo. Ose Mingo says it's okay. I'm just seated here. Imagining how handsome my footballer is going to be <laughs> when I finally give birth to him. <laughs> him? Yes, he's a he. She. No, baby, a he. She. A he. She. A he. A he. I put it there. I know what I put there. Oh, he. <laughs> Hold on. Just save your breath. Push! Push! I said push! Hada! Push! Okay, okay. Oh, my dear. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm fine, Metro. Congratulations once again. How is my baby? Are you done cleaning him? They are still on it. Mm. He will soon be here. Mm? It's all right. Relax. Um, mm. Mm. There is something I want to ask you. Mm. Yes. What is it? It's about the mark on your laps. How did it come about? Mm. It's a birthmark. I hope there's no problem. Birthmark? Birthmark? Uh -uh. Who is your mother? My mother's name is in kitchen. Unfortunately, she was hit by a stray bullet when we were traveling together many years ago. But it's been a long time now. Metron, why are you asking me all these questions? Baby! Congratulations to us! Congratulations to us! So tell me, where's my baby? Oh, I can't wait to carry him. I just... Emeka! You found my son? Yes. I found him. How? Where? 
I have looked for my son virtually everywhere in this city. So where did you find him? I found your son, but that's not why I called you. I found your daughter also. Don't tell me that you are here to walk me. Is that way you're here? No. You know, I thought both mother and child were dead long ago. But she is the girl your son is fed head over heel in love. No! She was even delivered of a baby boy for your son. Now you stop it! I'm telling you the truth. Just to come down. It's true. What are you doing in my house? I never wanted you, a father, to ever find me again. Take it easy on your mother and listen to her. Not even you mentioned. Not even you. I regret stepping my foot in that hospital. Only if I knew you were going to bring her to my house. Chukwemeka. Please listen to your mother. I am very sorry. Please forgive me for not listening to you. I'm so sorry. Please. You think it's that easy? Mother, you think it's that easy? You rode out the drums of war against the one I love. You even went as far as paying her off. But thank God. Thank God she has shown to you and Father that she's not after our wealth. Adugo. I am very sorry. Please, my lovely daughter, forgive me for all that I made you go through. You are not only going to forgive me because because I'm begging you. No. You will. You will have to. Forgive me because I'm your biological mother.
That was how it all happened. Your Majesty, please forgive us, please. Your Majesty, please forgive us. All I wanted was peace and happiness in this family. I thought that... I thought that bringing in a son will give you joy. Will keep the throne secured. That is why I did it for you. Your Majesty, forgive me. Please forgive her. Please. Any other woman in her position would have done the same thing in order to protect her home. Please. Please. Ah. Uh, where is my mother? We were traveling together. I was only 10 years old then. Things were very difficult for us. Unfortunately, we were attacked by robbers and we ran in different directions. It's been a long time now. Since then, I never set my eyes on my mother. Uh. Your Highness, please forgive me, please. Please, Your Majesty. Please. Highness, please. I want you to leave this palace and don't take anything along with you. That's my princess. That's exactly how a princess should look. Hmm? Good. 
good. Now you're looking wonderful. Beautiful. Good. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you very much, Father. You see, yes, I am His Majesty, but where you are concerned, I am first Father before being Majesty. So, let me hear you say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Good. Now, you know, I look at you and I say, oh my God, what a beautiful daughter I have. And to imagine that a conspiracy of circumstances blinded me to the fact that you are my daughter and compelled me to subject you to all forms of ill treatment, I said to myself, why should I be so victimized? Why? But I thank God, it's all in the past now, I have my daughter with me and she's such a wonderful princess. Hmm? Good. Now, listen. Now that you're back home, whatever you want, request it, it's yours. You know? <laughs> hmm? Thank you so much, Father. I love you so much. And I love you too. Um, Father, hmm? can I have your permission? I want to go around the palace. Mm. So, there we go again. Do you really require to ask your father for permission to walk around the palace that belongs to you? This is your father's palace. This is your home. Whenever you want to walk around, walk around and look. One more thing. If you find any plant you think its fruit is edible and promises to be sweet, block it, chew it. It belongs to you. Thank you, Father. Good, good. Now, come on, give me a hug. Thank come you, on. Father. <laughs> Baby, you're here, and I've been looking everywhere for you. I am deep in thoughts. My love, what is the problem? I want to go in search of my mother. Where on earth do you want to look for her now? I don't know. Something inside tells me she is out there waiting to receive me. Baby, you really need to calm down. I miss her. I miss her so much. If it is will of God that we will meet, then we will. Besides, you don't even have anything to help you look for her. No pictures of her. No memories. This is the time we need to submit our lives entirely to God Almighty. We have a son now. He needs our love, our care, and our attention. You should also know that she was my mother. And she is still my mother. So you have to calm down, my love. You really have to calm down. Where is the king? He's inside. Excuse me.
father. I don't know where to begin. I call you father because all this while you have been good to me. You have done everything, everything a man can give and do to the son. You gave me all the privileges. A son and the prince you have. But then, it is, it is what it is. <sighs> Father, I have come to plead for your blessings as I go into the world in search of my biological parents. son I think you're in such a hurry there is a tide in the affairs of men which you've taken up the flood it leads on to fortune every man at one time in his life experiences some crisis you are living a very satisfied life within this palace looking upon me as your father until you stumbled onto the fact that I am not your biological father and you were scrambled by that discovery it drove you into some distress which you elected to express in drunken revelry it was not necessary from the moment you were brought in here as a little child from the hospital, I saw you as my son, and that qualified you for all the affection a father could give to a son. And from that day, I have treated you with a consuming paternal affection. Nothing has changed. You remain my son and an heir to my kingdom. Therefore, pull yourself together and continue your normal life. Except, of course, you say to yourself, No, I must go to seek my fortune elsewhere. But, as far as I am concerned, as the king, you are not only my son, not just my son, but the heir to my kingdom. And nothing, repeat, nothing can change that. Father. Thank you, Father. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You will have no cause to go outside to drink. No. Whatever drink you want is available in the palace and you have access to all the bottles. It's yours to pick and choose. Ichi, there's nothing else to decide. Let us take action now before it is too late. You know, such a decision. Um. Ichi, we can't take such a decision now. Because you know our ego is alive. And everything about this kingship is for the gods. The gods of our wife. Keep that of the gods aside. Why? The truth is there for all the eyes to see. The ego have no air. You see, what about if he decides to take another wife who will eventually bear him a son? Um, our ego is over 80 years. And I don't see him as someone who is willing to marry another wife. Can you see? You may be right, Del. 
You may be right. Well, so let us join hands together and chase him out of that throne. Okay. Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, 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 hola. Your Majesty. Uh, I'm told that uh, you want to see me. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Since I started serving this household, this place has felt as home. And I cannot wish for a better place to serve as a cook. Thank you. But Your Majesty, I have a little problem. Problem? Now what is it? Your Majesty, my brother just returned from overseas and insists that I join him. He insists that you join him, hmm? Well, well, I am the person who now has the problem, not you. Finding a replacement for you is going to be very difficult. Besides, I mean, at such short notice, it's going to be very difficult. Um, it has to do with your future, so I will not block you at all but I think you can help me here give me a suggestion what do you think I should do your majesty I know about someone that can cook very well she's a very nice and likable lady and I know with her presence in this palace you will hardly feel my absence aside being a very good cook I think I like you for your modesty. Hmm? Um, you cook very well. You have now recommended somebody you feel cooks very well. All right, let me use your standard in assessing that person. Hmm? And how can we get that person? Your Majesty, she's outside awaiting your command. Oh, you came with her. Very thoughtful of you. All right. Bring her. Thank you, Your Majesty. For me. I did. Um, this woman was introduced to me um, as my next cook and the moment she came in, my daughter flashed up, called her mother and embraced her so warmly. Honestly, I was taken aback. I mean, I didn't know how to proceed. So I decided to invite you. And that's why you're here. Do you happen to know this woman? Yes. Who is she? Her name is Nkechi. The woman whose, whose son I exchanged for your daughter. She is Emeka's mother. I'm sorry. 
my my mother my mother Not our culture. Iche is right. Iche is right. Edus, have you forgotten that when the king of Ubulu died without a son, the clan had to fulfill the yes. kingship? You are right. You are very much right. We can't have it here. It can't happen. I am just a kid. Do. Iche, silence everyone of you. I say silence. How can you sit before the throne and you are talking? Like children. Is anything wrong with, it, with us? Oh no, yes. You look all of us in the face and say we are behaving like children. Yes. Eh? Of course. It is for our land. The king lied to us. He made us roll out the welcome song for another man's son. He must make a pronouncement that the next heir should come from the next clan. Because Tradition demands that. Any dynasty that had an end automatically forbids the throne. Wow, the tradition. May you live long, Your Majesty. The gods have spoken. The destiny of Prince Emeka and Adugo is already tied. The gods have confirmed that Prince Emeka remains the crown prince and heir to Okwari Kingdom. And no one dares the gods. Or go against the law. What happened in the past was a path that the gods paved to prove their love for our people. Your Majesty. Father, we know how hard it is for you finding out the truth about us after all these years. But please, Father, forgive our mother. Please, Father, hear our plea. Forgive mother and bring her back home. Please. Your Highness, Please bring her back so I can at least know who she is. <laughs> 